Wake up and move. Justin Arnold back here again with Flex MP for another Movement Monday. We're here to talk about squats, but probably one you're not familiar with or you're probably not doing. Now let's talk about it as general. Squats are considered one of the king of exercises, but I find a lot of people aren't doing them correctly. Only maybe a small percentage of lifters or people are dealing with injury. After injury, you're always trying to refigure. So reassess your goals, decide your goals. If you're a power lifter, if you're a competitor, then you have to learn that movement. But if you're looking just to get jacked, be in better shape and be healthy, maybe back squat isn't your thing or barbell squat. So in comes the landmine squat. Honestly, one of my favorite go-tos for squats because it grooves the squat pattern. So you get better patterns, which we'll show you. So it's easier to squat correctly without having to think as hard. So you can just load up some weight, breathe, and do all those right things. So here we go, the way it sets up. So if you don't have access to a landmine, but you do have a barbell, you could just uh, shove this in a corner. Now, if you're at home working out, you don't have access to barbell, but you have something to practice squats, you know, like a broom or a long stick, definitely could do that as well. And then maybe just wear a weighted vest or a backpack for your load. Anyway, why I like this, because a lot of people tend to fall forward, especially if you're taller, Landmine squats are probably a better go-to. Again, back to those goals, assess your goals. But this one, if you lean to our board, what's happening? So you wanna set up where it's at your chest, not too far away, then you're just gonna breathe in and brace. I wanna instruct you to go slow first, especially if you usually don't squat often, because your body has a natural way, typically, to readjust. So you'll probably, if you go slow down, think like three to five seconds, your feet will definitely reposition. So again, helps keep that chest up. It also teaches you to push your hips back. I find a lot of people who intend to lean forward or push their knees forward or they're standing in all these weird stances. Again, this landmine squat can, again, get to a better squat form without thinking because I get asked all the time, how do I squat? Am I squatting correctly? Do I stand like this? Where do I put my feet? Where do I put my hands? A lot of questions and this is one of those movements that can really get you to a better squat. I'm definitely going to put some more notes below because there's a lot to talk about this. So if you got some time, go ahead and read that. And like previous Movement Mondays, typically when I show a movement like this, probably means we're going to include it on our Workout of the Week Wednesday. So you want to check that out because it's going to be an amazing one this week. Anyways, if you have any more questions, you like movements like this, want to learn movements like this, or definitely interested in personalizing and getting your fitness and health and wellness to meet your needs, to meet your goals, I can sit down with you via Zoom, wherever, to set up that customized roadmap today for free. So click a link below. Let's set that up that fits your schedule so we get you going in the right direction to move better, feel better, and live better. Well, again, thanks for tuning into this. If you like videos like this, share them, subscribe to our channel, check out more on some of our playlists. And always, we're always here for recommendations. Let us know. And tomorrow, if this is your first time, we got our TRX Tuesdays. You won't wanna miss that one as well. Well, thanks for tuning in. Have an awesome day. Take care.